Have you ever wondered how the digestive system works? Have you ever wondered what happens when you eat a delicious Big Mac from McDonald's? Well, today, Zach and I will explain how the digestive system works in Minecraft. Now, without further ado, let's get rolling. First off, before the food even gets into the mouth, glands in your salivary gl glands in your mouth start pumping out saliva. These are called salivary gl glands. Once the food gets into your mouth, it combines with the physical process of chewing and with the chemical process of enzymes breaking down the food. The saliva contains an enzyme called the salivary amylase, which breaks down starches into disaccharides. So the lettuce, pickles, onions, and bun, and the sesame on your bun, and your Big Mac get broken down into disaccharides. As you keep chewing, the Big Mac gets converted into a substance called the bolus, which is just basically a ball of food. Once ready, the bolus gets pushed down the esophagus through a wave-like contractions of the esophageal tissue called the peristalsis. That propels the bolus into the stomach. In the stomach, chemical digestion as well as physical digestion occur. Chemical in the sense that acid is spat out of the stomach, is spat out of the stomach glands, and physical by the churning process that takes place in the stomach. Now, the patty in your Big Mac is made up of proteins, seen as its meat. In the stomach, there's an enzyme called pepsin, which is responsible for breaking down proteins present in your food. So the two ground patty beef in your food and the cheese are broken down by this pepsin enzyme. As all this is happening in the stomach, Hormones in your stomach alert the pancreas, liver, and gallbladder to produce digestive juices and transfer bile. Uh, we will talk about bile in a minute. They transfer the digestive juices and bile into the small intestine. So after three hours, the bolus, now called chyme, which is now liquid substance, enters the small intestine. Simultaneously as the chyme is making its way into the small intestine, the, the pancreas delivers a fluid containing multiple enzymes to the small intestine. These enzymes are each responsible for breaking down different types of molecules. The trispin and, chy and chymotrispin are responsible for breaking down proteins into amino acids. So the patty and cheese in your Big Mac is further broken down. Once the chyme, once the chyme and enzymes mix in the small intestine, it's not completely broken down because it's because uh, the patties also made the patty and cheese are also made up of lipids which have rarely been touched yet. Another enzyme is the pancreatic amylase. This, uh, this enzyme digests starches and uh, breaks them down into disaccharides. So the lettuce, pickle, onion, and buns get broken down by this enzyme. Finally, the final enzyme we will talk about is, is, lipid, is lipase. This is, this is responsible for breaking down lipids into fatty acids. So the patty and cheese in your Big Buck are now completely broken down to their smallest components and your Big Mac as a whole is now completely broken down. As these enzymes are being produced in the pancreas, the liver is producing bile salts, which help the, lip, the, which help the lipase produced by the pancreas break down fat into the small intestine by emulsifying lipids. With the bile produced by the liver, the gallbladder stores it until the next meal. It then injects bile salts into the small intestine. The small intestine then absorbs macromolecules, proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids, using special enzymes for each along with the tiny villi arranged in segmented folds. On these villi exist microvilli to absorb smaller mo molecules that the villi can't absorb. As the food is getting absorbed, that's not, it's not over yet. Fiber, water, dead cells, and waste material go to the large intestine. It does not digest food. It instead concentrates and eliminates waste through the rectum and anus. It breaks down food with various bacteria and uses additional salt and water to form feces. The waste keeps breaking down until it becomes a molecule called the nerve, called the nerve, until it becomes a molecule called the stool. The stool makes its way towards the rectum where the nerve sends that it's time for the waste to exit through the anus. And that is what happens to your Big Mac in the span of 40 hours. 